When our son told us that he was gay, I asked him, why did you wait so long? And he said, but mom and dad, who else will love me when I walk out that front door? I'm a transgender person, so it was kind of hard to find churches that accept me. I worry and I have fears for my father, but the sad part about it is that I don't fear him being gay bashed by society. I fear that he will be gay bashed by a church. My partner and I, we were married on a Saturday. The next day, we drove to the church where I was appointed and um, took off our wedding rings and put them in a box. The strain of that wore on me in such a way that I knew that I couldn't continue. So I went in and met with the pastor, and the pastor proceeded to tell me that he didn't feel it was appropriate for me to join um, because I'm gay. There is a group of people being harmed in the United Methodist Church. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender persons are prevented from full participation and leadership. And our church is being harmed when we lose the gifts and graces of these faithful United Methodists. As a pastor, I've, I've, I've worked with gay men and lesbians, bisexual, transgender persons who have come to church very wounded because they've heard that they are kept from God's embrace. And that to me is the sin of the church. In high school, I went through a really severe depression over um, identifying as homosexual. Those wonderful six verses of scripture that they always throw at you, they threw at me in a big way. The problem for me is the way in which people um, in our church, in, the, in United Methodism, regard the Bible as a weapon, as something you pick up and you beat other people up and you tell them that their worth and their dignity is lesser because they are not heterosexual. It's not a matter of choice. Certainly, I didn't choose to be heterosexual, and neither my wife nor, nor I, and our daughter didn't choose to be homosexual. So it must be something that suggests a creation of God. And if God creates you in a way, you know, you can't deny that. The worst statement that I think exists anywhere is the one that Christianity is incompatible with homosexuality because I know so many good Christians who are homosexual. Standing in the gap between GLBT people and the church is the Reconciling Ministries Network. RMN is a movement of United Methodist congregations, groups, and individuals working for the full inclusion of all people in the church. Meeting people where they are, RMN offers resources, support, training, and hope from grassroots frontier outreach to advancing justice on a national level. RMN affirms the sacred worth of all people, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. We're all God's children, and we're made in God's image. And, you know, God loves everybody. God is for everybody.